we finally got the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for and kind of questioning. Should President Biden run again in 2024? Will Biden run again a yes plan? Democrats warming to the idea of President Biden running again. Yeah, let's warm up. Well, we got the confirmation that our president, our commander in chief is all in. He's not going to give up on us. He wants to finish the job. Americans across the nation have been waiting to hear now how he plans on finishing the job and getting us out of the current mess and how he will carry us now for, I guess, another six years. Because in the past, when a highly anticipated presidential run or re-election, in this case, was announced, we're used to hearing a clear, concise vision. This is not just a campaign for the presidency. It is a campaign for the future, for the forgotten, hardworking people of America, for their children, for all of those who deserve a government that's on their side, fighting for a better tomorrow. That's a vision, right? We're used to hearing a candidate with intentions to protect this great nation, solve any problem that might be coming our direction. There is no dispute, no problem among us that cannot be solved by the principles there enunciated or presumed, so long as we apply them in the spirit of good citizens. There is nothing before us that can affright or defeat a people. How great is that? We're used to hearing potential presidential candidates giving us that feeling of togetherness. That's why this campaign can't only be about me. It must be about us. It must be about what we can do together. This, it will take your time, your energy, and your advice to push us forward when we're doing right and let us know when we're not. I don't care who you voted for. That works. Most of us are used to re-election speeches, videos that motivate us, set the scene. It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. But instead, this week, this moment, we're waiting for what turned out to be this. That's why I'm running for re-election. Because I know America. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Not Reagan, not Obama, not Eisenhower. More like this. Around 30 feet, gives it a pretty good wrap and... Yeah, whispering. It was like a golf tournament. Why was he whispering? Where's the inspiration? It was supposed to be Joe time, time to inspire us, time to motivate us, even yell at us, provide us with the vision this country's been lacking, propel his own party to four more years of whatever he's doing in the most critical time in our nation's history, with China becoming more formidable, both economically and now militarily, maybe our equal, a border so busted, we lost 85,000 children after they crossed, an economy so battered, growing at 1% with not a penny less than $31 trillion in debt. It's time for Joe to let America know he is still the right person for the job if he ever was. So how does he do that? By highlighting doom and gloom January 6th? But you know, around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up to take on those bedrock freedoms. Yeah, how about that provision? Where does he see this country heading under his leadership? You won't hear much of that from Joe Biden. But instead, we get, I don't know, this guy he's running against. I'm better than that guy, like this guy. I know him well, and I know the danger he presents to our democracy. And we've been down this road before. Right, he's not Donald Trump. So is his winning message, I know you don't like me, but you gotta like me more than you like him. Solid strategy, perhaps? What about his administration? How does he restore the confidence in America that he is the right person at the right time to fix our nation's problems? He doesn't actually give that sensibility at all. You didn't hear him even a word from, we did it, Joe, Kamala Harris, his number two. That blockbuster re-election video announcement. I guess we can just expect much of the same. But the real question is, will America put up with this? Will voters let him get away with it and award him with another term? Not because he can lead, not because he can manage, but because he is not Donald Trump. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.